This season, you got to bring your own ally, your ride or die. And this game is all about friendship, and I'm feeling friendly. These are some of the greatest ride or die of all time. Bring them out. <gasps> oh my god, this is crazy. Wow. What the fuck is that? This is my 12th season of the challenge. I have been to three finals and I have placed second place. I'm walking in with a seven time champ by my side and I'm here to finally get the first place win. not adjust your television set. You are not hallucinating. This is Johnny Bananas, the GOAT of the challenge, making his uh, triumphant return to your television screens. Nani and I truly have a long-standing, unbreakable bond. We're here to play. Go home, dude. Don't come back, you seven-time champion. I don't want to see you. You're too good at this game, and everybody freaking loves you. Ah. Quite a crew you assembled here, team. Everybody is really nervous, but as soon as I went into the challenge house last season, day one, Nani and I became friends. In real life, we have each other's backs, and I expect that to carry over into the game as well. The rider dies of all time. These two, right here. Uh, this person sitting right next to me. Where do I begin? <laughs> oh, God. On tight, Johnny. You got this, Nani? Keep those legs moving. Ah! My goal this season is to finally help Nani get this elusive victory that she so much deserves. Absolutely. This is 100% a business trip. This is where we kill the final, Nani. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just go ahead and join them? All right. Good to see you, brother. You too, man. I'm here, guys. Yeah, I made it. Oh, man. Oh, what's Jack, up? Hi, good to meet Jack. you, Johnny. Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Wow. Turbo's still here. You haven't killed anyone yet? <laughs> <laughs> I hate Banana. He is fucking number one idiot man. But it's OK. I love the Nani. Who got eliminated? Uh, it was Kayla and Sam. What? What'd they go against? Uh, and us. and <laughs> KC and Kenny went home. Is so, that home? They're gone. <laughs> Mine and Casey's relationship is going better than ever. She is my best friend. She's the love of my life. And without Casey being here, I'm going to fully have to trust and rely on Bananas. He's my friend inside this game and outside of this game. So I'm really grateful to have him by my side. You never know what's going to happen on the challenge. Get out of here. Wow. Just keep coming, man. <laughs> Me and him have had a checkered past. Uh, some would even call us rivals. Come on. Perfect. Love it. I'm willing to put all of that to the side because this game requires multiple pairs to be working together. I never thought I'd say it, but I'm happy to see it, Johnny. <laughs> hey, Buggy. How'd this happen? OK, I, and I know this is a lot of like questions all at once, but like, are there alliances? Who's working with who? The speech that Johnny gave was, the rookies aren't playing scared this season. We're not here to play a wimpy-ass game. We're not going to punk out like we've seen some past rookies do. I don't know what's going to happen. That's mm -hmm. the problem. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen in this game. So yeah. let's fucking get our shit together, I and see. let's win. Yeah. The rookies are coming in strong. And if we don't do something about it, the veterans are going to be picked off one team at a time, and we just cannot let that happen. You guys, look, I gotta show you something. This is Gara, it's my mom's maiden name. Aww. Yeah. Do you know what that means? No. Warrior. It means war. Fire. 
Okay. <laughs> My life has been kind of flipped upside down recently. Um, I unexpectedly lost my mother. I think, I think it's, hold on, I'm sorry. I want to do the season for her, and I want to make her proud. Casey would want me to be here, and I know my mom Absolutely. is here. I put on muscle, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. <laughs> That's the final. That's the final nani that I hear. Yeah. And I know that whether I win or lose, I came here on a mission, and that mission is to live on her legacy. You're still mad at me, man? Come on, bro. Oh, no. Joke style. Hey, I'm not a killer. I'm coming okay. from. I'm yeah. coming He's from. kidding. Turbo. Don't act like this, Turbo. okay? No, I always say he's the seven times champion, you know? I always give you respect. I know. I but do too. Make, if you make this a joke. joke, is not good. Turbo, it's good to see you again, man. I guess you still haven't found your sense of humor. Turbo is going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with this game. I want to beat you up there. Please. Okay? I can't. I, I can't. Go okay, so. Yeah. Well, then you gotta, you know, keep it together for a little bit, so stick around. It happened to me when I first walked in. <laughs> I was pouring champagne, and I, we only had one bottle, and so I'm like pouring it around, and then I turn around, I turn around, and he's waiting for it, and then he goes, you disrespect me. You, disres you, you make me look like a fool. Here's the thing about Turbo. I feel like he pretends to play this intimidation game. Can you share something? I didn't know you were I was fucking dead and I was asking three times. I'm gonna see you one by one in elimination. Turbo, daggers stay in the zone. What do you mean, brother? What do you mean? I was Can kidding. you explain me? Yes, I, it's just what? a joke. But what he doesn't realize is that these broken bonds that he's forming as he's pissing people off in the house is not going to bide in his favor. It's, 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 like, a, it's like a minefield, dude. It's, it's so good. That is fucking crazy. So Michelle and I, I believe, are on the same page. She's working the vets really well, and I am 100% working with Johnny and Raven and Olivia and Horacio. Why? Because they're both powerhouse teams. My head is in the game. My head is so in the game, but, like, I was just, like, so sad for so long. I think that was, like, the issue with being with Jordan. A year and a half ago, my ex, Jordan, broke up with me. And I think I just went through a spiral. Like, I hit every rock on the way down. I would feel this, like, just deep sadness. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there was never really any closure there. Yeah, no, there wasn't. When Tori was in her relationship, she's obviously with that 100%. So when she ended things with Jordan, I wanted to make sure that she was good. Being able to read between the lines in a friendship is really important because people don't always ask for the help that they need or that they want. I think like being on antidepressants helps. It seems like an incredibly beneficial step yeah. that you've taken. I don't feel the need to spiral. Like I feel like I'm okay. I am a completely different person than I was a year ago. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I finally got help and so, I'm crying now, tears of joy, because I'm just happy that now I'm, I finally seek help and I'm on medication and I'm happy for myself. And so that's why I'm crying right now. I just cram it down deep within myself till I take it out on someone that doesn't deserve it. <sighs> I'm just trusting this process. I'm just gonna be the best person I can be. I feel like I've healed this. Listen, if you ever need to talk, I'm here. Ditto. Warm touch. Welcome back. Before we get started, we have a little news. Apparently, 
Emmy can't take it. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, no, you've got to be kidding me. She wants me. to go home, and it is what it is. Emmy, wow. Nam, get out of here. Dude. Emmy, I'm freaking disappointed in you as a person, as a human being, and as my ride or die. It's like a punch straight in my face again, and I uh, just hope that will be a future chance for me. All right, let's party. Today's challenge is called Balancing Act. As you can see behind me, there's an off-balance platform. Your goal today is to level it out. When I say go, you'll jump in the water and swim to your respective ladders. Climb up the ladders, race across the container to a rope swing. Use that rope swing to get on the other platform. Once you get on that platform, you have to balance it out. When it's perfectly balanced, your time will be stopped. The pair to get this done the fastest will win today's challenge, be safe from elimination, and hold all the power. Got it? Yep. Get it done. Let's go. First up, we have Olivia and Horacio. Let's go. Let's hit the standard, right? Being the first ones to try it out is obviously a little bit, gets nerves going, but I mean, this is what I came to the challenge to do. So I am super pumped, and I know communication is going to be key. Yeah. Okay. Got this. Have fun. This is what we're here to do. Horacio, Olivia, you ready? Go. Yeah. show that I'm coming from, Mexatlón, where we ran obstacle courses. This is my thing, you know? I'm, I'm so excited. This, to me, is really my, my playground. There we go. I've never climbed a rope ladder before, but obviously I'm not gonna quit, especially, like, I could never quit my partner. Ooh. 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 All right. Oh my God! That was sick. Horacio is ridiculous. He basically floated his way onto the platform. I mean, it's very impressive to make it look that easy. terrified of heights, like, I always make a joke, like, I'm scared of heights and love. Like, two things, like, keep those away from me. <laughs> Come on. You got it, Lynn, let's go! Yeah, let's go! Let's go! You got it! Two, three, hey! Hey! Yes, hold on! Hold on, hold on! Come on! Come on! That was sick! Fuck! Yeah! yeah. Just hold, 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 hold. Okay, okay. Hold, hold. Turn it back down. Oh, no, 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 hold. Hold. Okay. Hold. Okay, go. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's go. Thank you. As her ride or die, she trusts me, I trust her. And Olivia, being the warrior that she is, she just overcame her fear of heights. I've been beat down before so much, feeling inadequate as a person. And I want to be here and prove that I am mentally strong, physically strong, and emotionally strong. I am a fighter, and I'm never going to stop fighting. Let's go! <laughs> Horacio is, is it, man. That guy's badass. Wow. People, I'm shocked right now. This is a strong rookie, rookie team. And I'm letting you know right now, all the vets see this. They definitely put a target on their back. I loved it. Great job, Olivia. I'm freaking stoked. This is my ride or die for a reason. I feel like. A lot of people do underestimate me. Um, I like to have a good time. I like to be girly, but at the end of the day, I'm here and I'm a savage, and he believes in me more than anyone else. So. 100%. I'm yeah. stoked, yeah. 100%. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Right. All right, Tamara, Turbo, let's see what you're made of. We feel perfect. We are ready, and uh, we have to win. We don't have any options because we have a lot of enemy. All right, Turbo, Tamara, you ready? Go! Everyone gonna jump normal, you know, but I cannot jump normal. I am action movie actor. I have to show some action. Look at that fast swimmer. Yeah! To 
Kamara, she's actually gotten up the ladder before Turbo. This has got to be a blow to his ego. I'm living for this. Yeah. Always better. <laughs> I think Turbo should be a little worried about being sent into elimination because He's being kind of strange and distant and, you know, dramatic. Go. I do feel bad for Tamara because she seems like a pretty genuine, down-to-earth person, but she's, like, stuck to him like glue. Oh, oh. Push up, push up. Oh, oh. oh. Nelson, let's see if you and Norris can knock this thing out. Scuba Nelly's gonna bring it, baby. <laughs> I've been practicing swimming. This ain't no thing. I'm gonna jump here, jump there. Easy peasy. When was the last time you won a challenge, Scuba Nelly? Last time I won a challenge, I can't recall! All right, go! <laughs> the relationship I have with Norris is perfect. I'm telling you, people, when we put our pants on, I put one leg in, Norris puts one leg in, and we zipping that thing up together, baby. That's called ride or die. Watching every pair wipe out fully, I'm like, hell yes. I'm like, okay, no one make this because we are so close on winning this. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Take a step back. <laughs> and Devin. So it's really important that Devin and I get this done because Liv and Horatio cannot win this. We can't have another rookie rookie winning this game. I mean, we've already been into elimination. I'm not trying to go in again. Devin? is shocking me. He's looking like an athlete. We're talking about Daddy Devin right now. Did I just call this guy Daddy? Oh my God. What the fuck? Come on, Tor. Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. You're fine, you're good. You're clear. Honestly, that was incredible. I couldn't have done that without you. Yeah? I'm so proud of you. I love you. My fingers Thank feel like so they much. have chlamydia. <laughs> I, Brutal. I hate you. How do you know what that feels like? I've had it several times. <laughs> All 
All right, now it's time to see what all the hype's about. Bananas and Nani, let's go. I want to come in and I want to make a mark yes. on this game early on and set the tone and remind people who you are. Who we are. Who we are. Riders, Banani for life. All right, Bananas, Nani, you ready? Go! There you go! Bananas and I have known each other for 11 years. He and I have been through many ups and downs, but at the end of the day, I know I have somebody who's going to be there for me no matter what. Nani recently had a very traumatic loss, very sudden, very traumatic loss in her life. She lost her mother. I honestly cannot even comprehend um, what that must feel like and what that must do to a person. But if there's one way I could describe Nani, it's tenacious. This girl does not give up. Grab it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. I've been working out. I told you. I'm so proud of you. I came here to win, and I'm, I'm not going home. I'm not going home. And I'm so happy I have him by my side. Why are you crying right now? <laughs> Even if we didn't win, honestly, like, that, that shit was awesome. Banani for life. Banani for life. You're never going to forget for us. Banani for life. You're never going to forget us. Well, I'm waiting for the last team. Let's go. Last team, come on. Uh-oh. I'll try again. Oh. You're lying. He's joking. Uh. What? There, there. Oh. Oh. Who is it? Let's go. Ooh, who is it? Fire. I see my girlfriend. My girlfriend's here. I got my ride or die, my brother Kenny, and I'm ready to go. We're oh, gonna kill this poor girl. TJ needs to stop messing with my heart because I cannot handle all these emotions. We lost one pair of ride or dies, and I'm feeling friendly. Casey and Kenny have been cleared to play. Can't win a spot like oh, that. So let's go. Yeah, baby. Uh oh. You ready? Go. <laughs> My brother's first challenge, and it's gonna be interesting to see how he performs. I mean, he's never done this before in his life. I've always been Casey's little brother ever since probably high school. She's always been a badass. She was always a popular one. I was the introverted, quiet, shy kid, but I'm here to make a name for myself. I'm a badass, and I want to show who I am here as well. I own the rope. I own the rope. That rope. Big swing. I own the rope. Challenge today, everyone. Yeah. I absolutely loved it. Now, only four teams could get it done, and they were all within seconds of each other, except one team to get it done the fastest. And that was Nani and Banana. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just so happy. I feel like I came into this challenge confident as ever. I had my ride or die by my side, and we pulled off a win, and I could not be more proud of myself, of my partner, and it's just a really good way to start off the season. Good fucking job. Good fucking job. Oh Nani's happiness has always been infectious to me. 
and being able to share this moment. There's no better way for, uh, for, for Banani to uh, enter, the, enter the game. Those two have been ride or dies forever. Congratulations, wow. Bananas, Nani, I need you to go back to the house, deliberate and nominate four teams for interrogation, one of which you will ultimately select to send into the zone. All right, get out of here. Take care, everyone. Yeah, baby. Now that Bananas and Ani are the winners of this challenge, immediately danger zone for us. But I'm hoping that Nani might, you know, save her old partner. We'll see. I heard rumblings. Turbo. Yeah. Look, so I've been told, like, by a lot of people, that yeah. you've said that you want to go into elimination. Okay, do you so want to? Don't ask me like this. Whatever you want, you can do it. No. No, 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 don't, don't do that to me. Anything. Don't no, do that, no, 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 don't do that to me. Turbo and I met on World of the Worlds 1, and he and I were partners. I did all of the politicking for him. He didn't really have to do anything except help me win challenges. And I was very thankful for that. He is not afraid of going into elimination, but now I have the power to help him. I'm not attacking you. I'm simply coming to you okay. to ask you if you want to go in, I wanted I to want help to you. Come to you. Oh, no, 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 that's not how it works because I'm in power right now. Don't talk to me like this. If you uh, have a power, put me in. I don't like this talk style. You're the worst at communicating. You're the worst at communicating, Turbo. Normally, I trust Nani, but this situation is the different. They try to take answer, no, don't send me in, but still, they're gonna put me in. No one can see me the begging. I don't need no one is the mercy, no one. Talk to me, look at me, look at me like your friend, yeah. because this is this is not gonna happen. You say you cherish my friendship? What I told you? You said hey, you cherish I, my friendship. What I told no. you? No, what I told no you you're gonna let me finish talking. You're gonna let me finish talking. What I told because you this has banana. nothing to do with Johnny, okay? Turbo, I heard that you wanted to go in. That yes, you, if no, I have so an let enemy, me, let I me will finish. Go in. Let is, me finish. This is not good, no, this is not good talk you're not style. letting me finish, and you're walking away to yeah, talk to me as a friend. No, no, no. Nobody wants Turbo to marry here. It's so annoying to constantly hear him yelling at everybody. He's yelling at all the guys, he yells at the girls, he has no respect to anybody. So it's like, why even keep him here? Turbo, you're not walking away from me. You're, I, no. I can go in no. anytime. No, 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 I'm no. Ready to go in I'm anytime, not saying, I'm not saying not that good. I'm putting you in. All Turbo has to say is, no, I don't want to go in. But he doesn't want to say no because he doesn't want to look weak. No, listen to me. I came hey, to you free, because you said, when oh my God, power, oh I my God. Like it's oh extremely God. frustrating when you're trying to get your point across and somebody doesn't even let you speak. Maybe this is, okay, this okay, conversation, I, I, I take this conversation, can, yeah. you, can you let me finish the sentence? I, okay, no, no, no. I, I understand why Nani's pissed off and upset. It's also a combination of thinking someone's your friend and then realizing this person hasn't been your friend almost the entirety that you've known them. You don't know what a friendship is. Hey, I, when I help someone, I will never come to you. Do you know I'm gonna help you? I will help. This is not good, you know? Is the, do you want me to I help Do you, you understand what I'm, am I fucking crazy? Baby, it's okay, because all the energy is just high. It's up here. My intention was to go to a friend who, who he claims cherishes. I just don't like the way he talks to me either. I'm telling you, Ed, his partner is his friend. Like, it's appreciated. I know he, like, knows that. He's just, it didn't come off like that to him. Be, be ready for elimination, Tomorrow. Turbo demands so much respect from other people, and especially me. Any kind of friendship that I have in my life, a solid foundation is respect. And if you want respect, you better give me respect back. You already sent me in with this talking. You are the worst communicator ever. That's fact. Welcome back to the first night. Make no mistake, we are in the hot seat, young lady. Have you had a conversation with Turbo yet? I came to him, and I was very calm, and I was trying to help him as a friend, and he took that as me attacking him. Before we, this even happened between the two of you, I already wanted him to go in. Nobody in this house wants Turbo here. What is our best shot at getting rid of him? If we want to break up an alliance of three people, then we send in a group of three friends who are all strong, 
who we think could potentially fucking take out Turbo. Johnny and Raven were not shy about the fact that they don't care to go against the vets okay. and they're not scared to make big moves. Who are his closest allies? Who's he pal around with? It Jay and Horatio. I actually really like him. I do too. I think Kim and Colleen are a better option. Who is he working with though? If we throw those three friends in, one of them is going to have to fuck over the other one, which hopefully will then push them out of their little group. I mean, that's the way That's the way I think we should go. He's, they're fucking good, man. Horatio yeah. is fucking He's good. good. He has potential to, to and, win future challenges. Let's just go. So the four people we're voting in are Michelle and Jay, Raven and Johnny, Tamara and Turbo, mm -hmm. and Horatio and Olivia. Any way that works, it works in our favor. Yeah. No Devin and Tori! Surprise. Game time, baby. I'm so worried for Johnny and Raven because Johnny made a big move last week, and obviously he put in some vets, and he said he was going after the vets. Now I have to worry about him actually leaving the game and leaving me, and I'm kind of sad. I'm at a total loss right now. Stupid strategy, stupid strategy. I'm hurt, I'm pissed off, I'm upset, and that's coming off in an emotional way because I honestly don't even know how to channel this paranoia and anxiety in this moment. Odds are against us because if they throw in Johnny's probably gonna pick Jay. But right now I see us as a bottom of the list. I do too. I just thought because how well we did, like I understand like we did so good on the challenge and that could put a target on our back. But to me, it was like really caught me off guard. It's literally an awakening of like this is an intense game. Yeah. You really can't trust anyone. Yeah. You wanted to make a power move, and you stated that you weren't afraid to go against the vets. You gotta understand where we're coming from. If you guys are swinging for the fence, we're the fucking fence, dude. Yeah, we like, weren't surprised at all. Yeah. I, I, I knew the implications of my actions, and basically me saying that I'm not scared is to come in here and say, I'm a competitor, just like you guys yes. are. That wasn't a unilateral decision. You probably had other people you were working with that probably had input in that. So we felt like the most likely people that you were working with were Jay, Michelle, and Horacio and Olivia. Our decision was really based off of our own game. Okay. We weren't influenced by anybody or anything. We just wanted to make sure that not only is a message sent, but hopefully this kind of gets broken up a little bit, dude. We take no pleasure in this, you two, just so you know. Yeah, this is not easy. And I have to think strategically, and anybody connected to Johnny after making that statement last night, mm -hmm. we need to really take into consideration. It sucks to be here, because now it's just a game of chance. Based on who else you got in there, Johnny, who's pretty close to you, if you were to go into a draw with him, most likely he's gonna pick you, and most likely you're gonna pick him. That's where I fall, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think you're already in a pretty good spot. Yeah. I'm not scared. If we have to go in, I believe in her, I trust in her completely, so. It's so nice. Wait, so that was just a taste of what you're capable of? All right, you're going in for sure. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Bring us up to speed on everything that's going on. We saw the elimination. We saw who was put into the elimination. It looks like it was open season on the fucking vets. It, what have it, I ever done? It's either, literally dude. linked to Jay. We know that you and him are super close, dude, outside of this show and in this show. Whatever decision he makes, you 100% either were co-signed or were in his ear. It's who you're connected to. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna fucking ruin my whole game for one person. I've been at the bottom every time. Then you need to talk to Johnny and be like, yo, dude, fucking, if you pull the dagger, then fucking save me. The reality of the situation though, Nan, is that like literally, I love you. You're my like sister. I okay. never would have done that ever to you, ever. Okay. Literally, I never, I was so shocked. That shit is really fucked up. If you don't have the one person that you love the most riding for you, then who do you have? 
my God, is this how you won Survivor? Because I don't know if these are real tears or fake tears, but this is really good. Do you think that it was easy for me? No. Then throw somebody who you have no relationship with up there until you have the time to figure it out and talk to me. From the bottom of my heart, you know I love you, Michelle. This is nothing fucking personal. I do feel bad that Michelle is sitting across the table from me crying, um, but at the end of the day, this isn't just my decision. This decision is based on Bananas' decision as well. Bananas does not trust Jay, so if Bananas wants to say his name, I'm sorry that you're attached to him, but that's just the way that we're going. Turbo, when I walked up to you today, calmly and nicely, and I asked you if you wanted to go into elimination. I don't want to listen to you. My wish, I hope you're going to be champion. What? And, what? Uh, no, no, no. Can, can you listen to I me? I don't want to listen to you. I already listen to you too much. Too much. It's done. Okay? This is I don't why you're here. You. But hey. this is why you're here, though. This is why you're here, because you want to I am not here because of up, this Turbo. one. I don't want to listen to you guys. I want to go inside. OK. OK, well, you're gonna I sit have down. a message for you. Why don't you sit down? You sit down. I, I, I'm, a, I'm sitting down, Turbo. Why don't you act like Where an adult go? and Exit. sit the fuck down? Come, Tamara. OK. Well, Can you no, come no, here? No, no. Stay. Oh, my God. Stay. I'm coming, Turbo. I'm coming. Hey, don't listen to them. I don't feel voiceless at all. The problem was, like, I made a promise to Turbo of how we were going to handle the situation. He's my ride or die. I'm here with him, and my loyalty stands with him. Well, that went well. Well, you want to know what? He made an easy decision for us, so. He is not my friend. My friends don't treat me that way. And if he's going to get up and walk away, then you want to know what? He can go in. trying to have a good time, but knowing that I am going up for elimination, I'm very anxious and nervous, and I think my partner is spending a lot of time with the girl because he's afraid that he might be leaving, and right now I really need him, and he's not giving me much assurance either. <laughs> I don't do the first move. Kind of like that's what you shoot at me. That's actually kind of cool. Like you know, people go randomly to the girls and be like, "Hey, what's your number?" Yeah. I no. You admire them from afar for like months, then you go unseen forever. And unseen. Then, yeah, and then you just kind of live with it. If something happens that you guys end up talking. <laughs> I think Laura was a surprise to me, um, just because I thought she was, you know. She's a vet and she's like gonna do her own thing and we've connected really well. Well, I mean, you could at least go talk to somebody or you could say like one thing that makes them be like, oh. What is good for you? Like, I think you're like more shy. Actually, I know you are more shy. And Laurel has no chill. She'll go right up to you and she's like, I like you. And I love that. I feel like that's kind of maybe the girl you need. I don't think you've ever had that. I never think, I don't think you've had that before. But I'm kind of scared now. I'm, I'm scared for that. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm know. excited. How would I react to that? I, I don't know. I'm not a good conversation starter. Well, we're having a conversation right now. Y yes, Aww. but I, you know what? I feel very, very comfortable with you. Aww. That's good. I love that. It's very good. I want you to know, Michelle. Like I did, like consider you, 100 percent. If you don't think that I sat there and told Johnny, no, like... No, I do, I do, of course. But I'm like, a little butthurt that Nani and Bananas put us in, but the truth is, we're a pair, and I'm partnered with somebody where their actions and their behavior are gonna blow back on me. Jay, sit back, shut up. I'm gonna do all the work, and I'm gonna take it from here. I know you don't trust him fully, but I would never let him do anything to take a shot at you, ever. And that, I'm sorry that... that you are attached to him. I never, ever wanted to hurt him. Sorry, I've been through so much. Like, since my mom passed away, and like, 
I thank God I have Casey. Yeah. But like I, you know, I was so close to not doing this season, but I knew that like if I didn't do this season, my mom would be so disappointed. I think a lot of people are probably wondering why I chose to come and compete this season. But I know my mom and I know that she would have wanted me to embrace every opportunity that came my way. I love my mom. And I came here on a mission and that mission is to live on her legacy as warrior. And so I'm sorry that if I'm hurting you, but I'm here and I'm, and I'm showing up because I want to make my fucking mom proud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna look myself in the mirror and I'm gonna be proud of who I am. A hundred percent, girl. I am no matter what. I predict that we're gonna be here for a while. And I want us to have that trust between each other. Don't question our loyalty to each other. I really hope she's not striking up a deal. That looks suspicious right now. Johnny's just doing too fucking much. All this shit he's doing, I'll fucking throw his ass in then. Over Olivia and Horacio, and it would free up all the ties that we have. He's literally an anchor. As long as he's in the house, we're going to be linked to that mess. I know that, but he's my friend. In my heart, I really believe this dude. You know, he seems like a trustworthy guy. He seems honorable. I hope I'm believing the right thing. If he's willing and dealing to fucking throw us in to make a deal with her, is that really a friend? I don't fucking know. I've never been known to be like a chill girl. I'm not like cool as a cucumber. Like the dagger pick is a really weird element in this game. I'm freaking out and I want to put Jay on a collar and a leash. I want him to sit and stay and be a good boy and shut up. And I want to make sure that I have my dog under control here. I feel as if Raven and I are gonna be the number one pick, given the fact that we made a very bold move in our elimination and basically said as rookies, we're not scared to make bold moves. So why not throw down two rookies that said they're not scared to play a rough game? In my mind, we kind of made our bed, now it's time to land. All right, everyone, welcome back to The Zone. <laughs> Bananas and Nani, as the winners, you gotta go back to the house and nominate four pairs to interrogate, one of which will be coming down here with me. But right now, all four are in danger. So let's bring them out. Bananas, Nani, it's time for you to select one of these pairs. But who's it going to be? Well, TJ, um, we had the opportunity to interrogate all four teams. And there was one team in particular that didn't want to engage in any type of interrogation, didn't want to plead their case in any way. So unfortunately, that's going to be Turbo and Tamara tonight. Finally, Nani gets a chance to talk without him saying a word. And I'm so proud of her because I love watching Nani come to conclusions and how she represents herself. Good for you, Nani. <laughs> love you. Tamara, Turbo, you're down here with me. The rest of you, go ahead and take your positions at the draw. I 
manifesting his departure. Now, all of you are still in danger. You are standing at the draw. So one at a time, you'll pull a dagger. Those daggers will hold your fate for tonight. All right, Olivia, Horacio, you're up first. <laughs> That is a blank dagger. Johnny and Raven. Oh my goodness, man. No, we lost <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Seeing Johnny down in the zone is actually what just validated my feelings um, because now my heart dropped and my heart's pounding. I'm gonna choose. I'll follow you, go. Okay. That is a blank dagger. Oh, God. Oh, no way. Oh, thank you, Funky Universe. OJ and Michelle, go ahead and select so the winning dagger for us. Oh, my God. There it is. <laughs> Congratulations, Jay and Michelle. You are still in the game. Now it's decision time. Which one of these pairs are you going to save with you right now? But keep in mind, whoever you don't choose is playing tonight. Oh, my god. Michelle is extremely worried about the fact that if we choose Johnny and Raven, the whole house will know that we're working with Johnny and Raven and saving them. But the truth of the matter is, if we don't choose the guy that everyone thinks I'm friends with, then I look like a backstabber, and no one up there will trust us. So now it's decision time. Now it's decision time. Are you going to save with you right now? Keep in mind, whoever you don't choose is playing tonight. Listen, I think that it would be really, really concerning if we take Johnny back. He has a lot of enemies up there. Yeah, but I fucking, I promised. This is working out exactly the way that we wanted it to. They're now going to have to expose who their true alliance is to. I am really genuinely concerned for us. All right, it's not rocket science, guys. Let's go. He's the person that I trust the most, and I feel like we don't really know who's steering the car. I'm pulling it one way, he's pulling it the other. The car is swerving. It's a little bit out of control, but he really is my ride or die. Like, I would do anything for him. If he tells me something, I trust it 100%. I mean, if I gave my promise or a word to any of my friends, I got to stay and ride with my friend, you know. Uh... TJ, Michelle, and I are saving Johnny and Raven. All right, congratulations. Thank you, bro. You four can go head back up. You two are with me. So, Olivia and Horacio, tonight you are playing Memory Lane. This is a game of communication. So you definitely have to depend on your ride or dies memory just as much as your own. As you can see, there are two giant memory boards right here in the middle of the zone. To begin, you and your partner are gonna start in that box. When I say go, one at a time, you will race, Jump up on your board and flip two of those tiles. If they match, you're one step closer. If they don't, flip them back over, jump back down, and tag your partner, all right? And they're going to come up here and do the same thing. First pair to match all 12 of these tiles and win tonight's elimination round, stay in the game. Loser goes home. You don't want to be them. Oh. This is my first elimination, and this is Turbo's first elimination, too. Everyone want to be champion, but everyone afraid to go elimination. I'm not afraid to go elimination. I want to earn my final, you know? I want to earn. I've been training. I'm ready to kill it just as much, so watch out. I can't lie and say I'm not nervous, but I'm going to turn those nerves into excitement. You know, that's what we came here for, so let's fucking play. I'm ready. <laughs> let's go. Let's do this. Woo! Olivia. You got this. All right, you ready?
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yellow Mount, what are they? What? Yeah, yeah. Heart? What is it? Heart knife. Heart, heart knife? Heart knife. I flipped over a pink heart, and then I flipped over a purple heart, and immediately I'm like, yes, I got two heart. Wait, now there's colors involved too? Okay. It's gonna be a lot harder than I thought. It's a sword like this, it's not a sword. Go. Heart. Okay, we gotta, we gotta start memorizing these. Olivia, Olivia, bottom corner, and that one is just flipped over. Bottom corner, yes. Closest to you, bottom yes. corner. What do you mean? Bottom corner, right, right there. there. Right, right there. there. Yes. This one? Yes. Yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, keep moving. Keep moving. Good job, guys. Good job, Olivia. Stay calm, you got this. What is it? Top left. Top left. Top left. Good job, guys! Good job, Rachel. You got this. Turn, turn, up. Bottom left, bottom left, bottom left. Nice job, nice job, guys. Keep it up, slow and steady. The challenge isn't just about competing. It's about having a social game and having friends in this game. This right here is a true testament to it. Turbo and Tamara have nobody cheering for them whatsoever and helping them with this game. Whereas Olivia and Horacio has everybody. My fourth one, Turbo, my line. What is the heart? Which one heart? Which color? What color? Uh, blue. First one, first, first. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. I got uh, it, go up there. Go up there. Olivia, on the right Olivia, hand Olivia, side, the middle world. one. Everyone be the quiet. The right hand side, the Everyone middle one. Quiet. Right, that one. Yes. Now, middle, very middle row. That one. Yes, one. that one. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. And now, second one on the second line. Good Ah. Looking at Olivia, I can see that she's definitely getting fatigued. Come on, keep moving. You guys are doing so good. So good. Good job, Olivia. So right now, she has to keep her calm. Leg side, leg side. Middle on the left. That one, right there, right there. Yes! Let's go. We are going good, but all challengers start to help Olivia and Oresio. He's OK. He's OK. This is not a surprise for me. Me versus every challenger. Otherwise, it's not fair. Part of the game is making alliances and working with people and being nice to people. The fact that nobody helped Turbo and Tomorrow, it speaks volumes. Oh, that is fucking yes. sweet. Who helped them? One day, I'm gonna take my revenge. I have a message for them. Two words, one finger. Elimination. <laughs> yeah, we just like single-handedly with some help <laughs> took down the it plager of the challenge, Turbo. It shows that this game is not all physical. We obviously have been playing a good social game, just being ourselves, you being a freaking genuine, amazing person. Mm -hmm. Not helping the house, can't lie. 
Okay. It helped her win, and I'll take whatever it is, so. I'm just happy. <laughs> just happy, just happy, there it is. I guess it pays to have friends, huh? Yeah. 100%. Because at the end of the day, it all came down to having so much help. You got it done. Congratulations. Thank you. So, Tamara, Turbo, unfortunately, you lost tonight's elimination night. Nothing but love. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye, guys. Really nice meeting you both. I'll cherish these memories forever. It is what it is. We just lose. Still, I can say Nani was helped me a lot. Uh, I go home because of her, but still, my wish, I hope she's going to win. I don't like uh, her partner, is the banana. For me, is the number one shit is champion. But still, I give him uh, respect. He's seven times champion. For me, really, is the, I hope uh, Nani and banana are going to win. All right. Horatio, Olivia, congratulations to both of yeah. you. You win tonight's elimination round. Couldn't have done it without them. Love you guys. Thank you so much. I'm thinking the house is cheering for us just because they like us, you know. We bring some pretty good energy. But let's be realistic. They want Turbo and Tamara out of here. They need somebody to do the dirty work. I forgive, but I don't forget. So I think that's how Olivia and I are going to take it going forward. Now's the time for you to go ahead and join them. Woo! Take care. Woo! Good job. Let's go. We ain't ever getting rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. As you know, anything can happen on the challenge. See you next time. All right. Woo! Woo! Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey, wait, wait a second. The truth is, this is a game about friendship. And I'm still feeling friendly. Again? The twists just keep coming. So let's bring in a good friend to this game. <laughs> One of the most iconic players Who? ever stepped foot on the challenge field. One of the baddest dudes ever. Come on out. Fucking Jordan. I mean, Jordan is here. I haven't seen Jordan in a year and a half since we broke up. Like, my jaw is on the floor right now. And I mean, I don't even know how to feel. Hey, buddy. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good. Yeah. Oh, my man, Jordan. They know that the numbers are against them. I'm not trying to cross those boundaries at all. You can't make double deals because no one will trust you. Oh, baby. Oh.